lot of notoriety for the David and Goliath aspect. If you're a Gonzaga basketball player, you'd have a chip on your shoulder because all the bigger schools didn't recruit you as much. And you know you're just as good. St. Aloysius Gonzaga, patron saint for teenage children, I think. The standard one is Gonzaga with the za. Gonzaga or something like that. It's just kind of caught on. That's what people call us now. It's a kind of a West Coast, East Coast thing. Gonzaga is what the word is. Zag for a reason. Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Pretty simple to me. As long as you're talking about us, that's OK. as a member of the team, ready to play. Coach Pugh's right, this is our year. Let's go. All right. Hey, seniors, don't let anybody slack tonight. Showtime. Meeting Judd Heathcote. Judd was Magic Johnson's coach. Michigan State won a national championship. It's had a great program. Now he lives here in town. He's a good friend to our staff. And goes to most of our games and then rips Leon and I's rear end for every uh, thing that we do out there on the floor, keeps us grounded. This is Gonzaga's legendary spot. It's owned by John Stockton's dad, Jack. It's classic, it's like Cheers. Pretty good humor, you get Judd going. There's a lot of biting wit to deal with. Hello, gentlemen. I brought some friends. You. you too. How you, doing? you know, when I was uh, coaching, they asked to uh, do this. I told them go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the St. Mary's game? St. Mary's is good. They they beat Santa Clara by 30. Yeah. And I said then, you know, that's a good team. You know, he's there, he's there. Not goes there. He goes out. He goes there. Coach Rice got that there, Judd. Did Coach Rice pay for all of the lunch? <laughs> Coach Rice got lunch for everybody, Judd. Thanks, JC. See you, JC. See you, Coach. Thank you. He picks up on a lot of stuff that we don't see because we're so caught up into it, you know. And he usually comes up with something for us to work in practice. Of course, I'll deny it if somebody tells him, but we usually go right back and do whatever he tells us to do. Okay, hold up. Now you guys gotta be more alert. More alert down here. And when their big splash, their bigs are good. Coach, do you? I'd say he's quietly intense. His demeanor works, and that uh, the kind of guys we have um, don't really respond to the rah-rah and get-in-your-face type of coaching. I think uh, the way he coaches is perfect for the kind of guys we have. Everybody, pop up as a shooter. Don't come up as a passer. Derek and uh, Adam, you got to understand it like Blake does. Blake looks at every screen as an opportunity. He's a really intense competitor, but uh, not in a loud kind of way. Um, you can just see it on his face. Does anybody have a white shirt or a blue shirt for Adam? What's wrong with my shirt? Oh, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Dressed in a dark closet. Oh, you I have a shirt, a tie, and a fur pants. <laughs> and a fur shirt. Is it boo boo or? No. <laughs> I'm classy, Mo. I'm not like right. you. Adam Morrison's kind of the, one of the craziest people I've ever met in my life. He never, ever seems to be happy. Oh, uh, Morrison on one. One, two, three. <laughs> Morrison. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Morrison. Fun. He's a good guy. He's just, he's definitely probably the most eccentric guy on the team. Well, I have this checkered shirt and, a, like, a blue tie. It's a really tight pants. I think it goes together really nice. And, like, coaches have been getting on me. And uh, they don't like the stuff I wear. I don't know. They think I've dressed poorly, but I think I dress pretty good. Earl, don't you think I dress pretty good? No, I can't. I don't know. This is the Corkery Apartments. This is where uh, me and a couple of the other guys live on the team. Uh, Richard Fox, Stephen Gentry, and uh, Nathan Downey. We all live in here. My name is Fellas. We hang out all the time. We do stuff together. And there's nobody on the team, really, that's separated from the other guys. So everybody hangs out with everybody. Uh, I tore my meniscus uh, before the season started, but it took a while for us to figure out what it was, about four months. And, and uh, 
I uh, played with it for about four months and found it was just too much to deal with. So I had surgery about three and a half weeks ago, and hopefully I'll be back in about a week. Fox, it really is your turn to do the dishes for real. I did, I did, did them two days ago on Saturday. Well, that's fine, but I did them. You did them when? What's the like? Small like, amount. I'm just, I, I didn't know. Did you do your spoon and say, oh, that's it? And say that's your turn? I mean, Nate, I just, I want to call you out on national TV, but. You are, you are a very good roommate when it comes to dishes, and you know that. I don't know, some of the big time conference schools have been losing. Um, I don't know, we've just been doing our job, keep winning, beating the teams we're supposed to be beating. And, uh, I don't know, you look at our look at our schedule, and our only two losses are to the undefeated, so uh, hopefully they're starting to look at that and see that the only two teams we beat the lost to. Mouton hit a three at the buzzer. Right. No, it's overtime, it's at the buzzer. Three? Yeah, look at this, man, it's a tough shot. Oh. It's Mouton. Practice after being around all the time. We still wait to see her. Watch those games. I just put my hand in. Yeah, I'm a broadcasting major uh, here at GU. Put on a show called Sit Down, which is a, like a up close that the ESPN used to have back in the day. Nathan's a huge fan. Right, Nathan? Unbelievable. That's like what he lives for. You've never seen our show? No. But actually, we had a, uh... I don't really have good friends. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do my show. All right, man, good luck. Dude, me and come Kyle... Back. I come back, and they haven't watched it. I'm like, what are you guys, what are you guys been doing? Oh, uh, no, I completely forgot what you were doing, Dude, man. me and Kyle went, went on your show three times just to help the radio. <laughs> All right, fellas, hopefully you guys have fun tonight. we got practice tomorrow, and uh, pretty busy school day, so we'll see you guys around. Take it easy. See ya. It's, um... 6.30 in the morning, we've been here for an hour. Tuesday morning, and, uh, well, it's game day. Um, we're less than an hour away. Uh, this is a C-section. Last time it was natural, and this time uh, our doctor suggested that she had a C-section, so we went with his advice. We're just ready, you know. It, before, it was, you know, every day, is it coming, you know, is it coming? And then now, you know, you know the day, it's like you're ready to go. We just want to hold her and, you know, see her. I think he's ready. He passed out last time, so hopefully he'll be okay this time in the surgery room. The look I saw my wife's face when she found out it was a girl was priceless, and I knew, okay, that's the right thing. I mean, she was so excited. I mean, because, I mean, our little guy is definitely he's all 100% little boy, so, you know, we're hoping for a princess, but, you know, we'll have to see. She could be a little terror as well. What's, what's unbelievable is just like in 10 or 15 minutes, I mean, she'll be in my arms, you know, and it was just, I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's hard to even really put it in perspective or fathom. Okay. Oh, okay. There she is. She's a blondie. We didn't expect that, but we're excited. It's awesome. It's unbelievable. I mean, it was, the doctors were perfect in there and, and comforting. They had light music playing and it went smooth and I think everything's going good with Chanel, so we'll just get her to the nursery and get her taken care of. For more of this exclusive look into college basketball, log on to ESPN.com for the Capital One Coaches Chat and Coaches Journal. Capital One, what's in your wallet? I'm headed to strategic management. It's one of my last classes at uh, GU. I took care of most of it in the past three years, so. This one's kind of just finishing up my major in finance. Blake steps in this class with me. He's doing the, he's got almost the same major. He's doing operations management. And uh, he's done this year as well. Does really well in school. After practice. It's a really friendly school here. When I first got here, it was really easy to talk to everybody. And there was plenty of people to show you around. They take attendance in these classes, which I think in a lot of schools they don't. And so if you're not here, they know. And uh, you get penalized for it, so. I mean, it's harder and harder to find Jesuit teachers. And uh, even a lot of the administration isn't Jesuit anymore, but it's still got the strong Jesuit influence. The Corey's a very good student, juggles his responsibilities very well uh, between athletics and uh, academics. And I think he'll go out of here with uh, a solid education. This one right here? Yeah. 
That's what I thought, too. Uh, and they're not separate. You know, they're not off in their own dorm. They're not off in their own world. They're walking the halls, and they're in the library, and they're hanging out with everybody on campus, and that's one of the things that, that we take a lot of pride in. Because we're leaving at 1.30, so I just need to pack really quick so I can be able to just go down to the gym. My country is Martinique. It's located in the um, West Indies Caribbean. So that's three hours down south of Cuba. And um, I lived there my whole life. And when I was 14 and a half, I decided to just leave my country and just go play basketball in France. When I start getting recruited by all those schools, I mean, in Zaga, where I was maybe the first one that came to me and they were being really honest with me about if I came here, I would have to get time to adapt to a new lifestyle, to a new culture and stuff. And I mean, so far, everything they said happened. So I'm happy that I came here and I mean, and something I'm really proud of. My national team jersey, French, and I'm proud of being French. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Every time I go on the road, I forget something. Every single time. Damn. See? See why I don't like that? Earl is always touching my DVD. I want to go with Martin Lawrence on the road. Let's do this. Now we have to practice and off to the nice weather in San Diego, so see you guys there. Don't run up at the four, okay? He's gonna get a catch, he's not gonna wanna bring it up. Then we can shift our press over. This middle spot hurts us a lot more than them reversing it back to the uh, foreman. Come here. Here you are. Come here. Oh, yeah. Here you are. Oh, yeah. On the bus at 113. Hey, it's a great opportunity. We've got to get into our bunker mentality now. This is it right here. And, and, and dial it up. We've got to have a great effort. 12.32, so you even have time for a shower today. Yeah. Yes! Hi! So I know, that's why I moved our time back, so you can oh, get a you good shower. Oh, when you go in the shower, shower to make sure he lathers up. <laughs> we have a freshman that they say he's hygiene challenged, I believe is what they uh, needle him about. Uh, you know, in a very comical way, likes to at least try to needle and challenge the seniors, so that's made for some... Uh, some entertainment in a lot of different areas. <laughs> no, 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 what's wrong with it? this? That's a you know? nice. Right? That's, that's what that. That's what happened. Compared to that. Start, no, I don't want that. I want this. That's a TV Herman thing. Fine with you. I don't care. Let's see what Coach says. Earl, let me get those cutters. What are you giving them, Earl? Oh, uh, he doesn't want, he doesn't want anything. Oh. I got blue oh, suit. Uh, I got gray suit. I'll wear a, I'll wear a suit. He doesn't want. You should have told me that earlier. Because I have the top. Oh, look, got the top. I'll wear the, I'll wear the suit coat. That's with this. Let's go together, you know. You're watching the CZ presented by Capital One. Gonzaga basketball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Hi, Joey. Hi, hey, yeah, we're going on. This June will be 10 year anniversary, so I'm kind of used to it. And my dad was a coach, just a high school coach. So I'm just used to the 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 schedule that's not the same every day and him leaving town for a few days coming back. I'll see you in a couple days, okay? You have to be the big man of the house, okay? <laughs> there you go. Bye-bye. Okay. See you guys. Have fun. Okay. Say, uh, usual, you know, keep it nice. Yeah, you know, I gotta stay the same, that's how it works. You want those? Yeah, yeah thanks.
Let's go to the sunshine. Corey, uh, everybody used to call him Chunk, and then he started lifting weights, and he kind of got a little bit better physique. And so um, we're at practice one day, and uh, Coach Fuse yelling not at him. A true story. This is a true story. No, I, I got people story. here witnesses. No, you don't. Anyway, it's not a true... Fox. Anyway, so stop Corey's, uh, off for a Corey's sitting there or whatever, and Coach Fuse yelling at him. He's like, Chunk, you got to do this. He goes, Coach. I'm not chunk anymore. <laughs> I'm chisel. I've never said that. <laughs> so much chunk. No, it's true, bro. No, that's God Bacon. I don't know. I, I didn't know you were allowed to do self self proclaimed nicknames, but that's what he did, so we give him a hard time about it. <sighs> I almost wish it was 25 out and snowing. Almost you can get duped into the distractions of the sun and tend to let down your guard a little bit and relax. You know, when you get in league, every night's a battle. And the perception is, I think, that we should win every game in our league, and I don't think that's very fair. This group we have this year understands that, and they've done a great job so far of being ready to go. We are heading to shoot around, uh, walk through. Let's go through some of our offensive stats and uh, get ready to play a game tonight. This is nice. All the, it doesn't even look like a gym from the outside. It's like some kind of ballroom or something, but it's definitely pretty, pretty nice. You know, one of the best in our league. My favorite away gym, so I've always had pretty good luck in this gym, so hoping it stays like that. Oh, shiny, that's money. That's money. I scored it, baby. I scored it. You never know what's gonna happen at the end of the game. You need to be ready, so every fight we give him, back to the first shot. Okay, we stepped up our defensive intensity in practice this week. Okay, that needs to really show and shine tonight. If there isn't any more motivation, the last time we were on this floor, we left it with not a very good taste in it. Okay? All right, so let's come out. Let's go. fly Go around tonight. Let's One, two, three. Go! go. Well, now's the hardest part of the whole deal. It's the waiting. You just sit and wait, at least from the coach's perspective. <laughs> These games at night uh, are tough because you have a lot of apprehensiveness, worries, and uh, wonder, and just hope it all comes together. Basically, the haze in the barn, as we say now. And obviously, there'll be some things you need to adjust to on the fly out there. But pretty much the game plan's put in place, and the guys need to play. Right? Hey, yeah. One, two, three, go! For more of this exclusive look into college basketball, log on to ESPN.com for the Capital One Coaches Chat and Coaches Journal. Capital One, what's in your wallet? No, I'm fine. I'm asking you a question, Floyd. Right, I just want to talk. I'm being a team fan by rooming with you. <laughs> Floyd. Floyd, I like Floyd, and he's doing well. And Jesse's a very good-looking girl, and Floyd, rumor has it he messed it up. I don't know, but maybe she messed it up. And so Floyd, they're having their little talks, you know, so... 
Floyd always denies that he's talking to her. I don't know why, because this girl is like probably one of the best looking girls in school. See Floyd. That's your girlfriend to sound yeah. an assassin. Great oh. Oh. I got a girl, so I'm good. <laughs> You do? Yeah, Fox. Tell us about your gear. Yeah, what's your name? Yeah. What's your name? What? I'm not gonna be patronized. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> we really do get along, though. This is a really close team. I promise. <laughs> We've been away for a couple days, so just uh, working out with one of our new Richards, Callum, and uh, just doing Richards' uh, first contact workout since his knee injury. Family's awesome. I mean, I couldn't be any better. Uh, just one point of advice. After you have a kid, you know, don't start talking about the next one. I'm ready for the next one. She wants a little more time right now, so, but it's going good. Nearly one-third of the top 25 went down on this Saturday, all to unranked teams. Many of them were not only 18 to 22 year old kids, but uh, they seemed really focused and they watched what went on today across the landscape of college basketball, with all the upsets, especially in the top 10, 15. So they know we need to be on our game tonight. This is a big, big opportunity for us. Not only to move up in the rankings, Coach Fuse is right. This puts a stranglehold on the league for us, all right? Hey, seniors, don't let anybody slack tonight. All right, Coach Fuse, right? This is our year. Let's go. All right, let's go. Neff brings back into the paint, hangs off the glass, and scores. A tough shot for Blake Step. Violet to kick, it's on rebound, and this time he throws down the dunk. Remember everything Coach said about X's and O's? Nobody can stop us. Stop talking about it. Let's go out there and let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, it's 20 minutes of ours, man. Let's shut everybody up in this game and see how play. One, two, three, go. Second half, and they remain undefeated in West Coast Conference play. All right, we're going to switch the second half, man. That was awesome. Good road, we came, we were here to do. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Hey, let's enjoy. We call for curfew. One, two, three, go. Have you ever beat your friends? Yes. Oh. I asked you. Stop you, lying. Have you ever beat your friends? I asked you. More. How do they? You never take shower. I don't always take shower. You never take shower. Always comes to you. Hey, guys, I haven't taken a shower for the last three days. He stinks the worst. You walk by him. Stop lying. He stinks so bad. You know what? I plug my Quit nose. Quit your cereal. Ask everybody else. Ask when was the last time Mo took a shower?